Magic can be used in so many interesting ways. And in this episode, uh, I'm going to tell you a story about two people called Stuart and Donna. Two lovebirds who I met uh, before, I think before they got engaged. And um, I, happened to, I happened to bump into Stuart at a place in Lincoln who, when I first became a, a professional magician, they hired me a lot, uh, called Home, Home Nightclub. They're also a restaurant during the day. Maybe if you're in Lincoln, visit them one day. It's a fantastic venue. So in the end, Stuart contacts me and he says, Scott, I love your magic and I'm going to propose to, to Donna. Is there something that we can do? And I said, yes, absolutely. There is something to, we can do about this. The thing that we ended up doing was Stuart told me five really important things. The first place that he ever met Donna, the first place that they went on a date, the first place that they lived together, uh, and then there, there was one last clue. So what happened was one day Donna was at home, some flowers arrived and it gave her a first clue. And the clue said, go to this place in Lincoln. When she arrived, I was lean, leaning up against the wall acting or cool. One of the conditions of doing this was I wasn't allowed to say a single word to Donna. So Donna walks past me, she goes inside and she, she just assumes that we're there by chance. She comes back outside and she says, Scott, are you here for me? I can't say anything, so I nod my head. I do a magic trick and I make the, the second clue appear magically. I give her the clue and I disappear. I, I, I walk down the street. That clue, led her to the first house that they lived at together. When Donna arrived, magically, I was stood against the wall, just like before. And I act shocked to see her there again. I produce another clue, magically. That clue ends up leading her to a restaurant where they had their first date. And then the clue that I produced there, magically, at this point, she's freaking out. The clue that I produced there led her home where Stuart was on one knee with flowers, rose petals all over the house. What a beautiful way to use magic uh, as, as an unforgettable proposal. I'll stick some pictures up on screen uh, and it also puts a picture of the, the wedding day uh, because it's so nice to be able to do something uh, like magic at, and, and be more than, than just providing a great service to an event. Uh, they've left a real big impact on my life. Uh, it was such a cool project to, to work on using magic to bring these two people together in an unforgettable proposal uh, that I'm sure they will talk about for the rest of their lives. So that is, is, is one of the most beautiful ways that I've ever been able to use magic. And I hope that you enjoyed the story. Uh, so if you're a couple of lovebirds who are looking to uh, get engaged or, or pop the question, maybe shoot me an email. We'll see if we can work something out. Or if you have a story similar, leave it in the comments below. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the share button, share some love, share some magic, and I'll see you in the next episode.